A motorcycle's clutch modulates the power being produced by the engine to the transmission. Without it, you'd have a heck of a time getting away from a stoplight, shifting gears, or even stopping. Clutch actuation and feel is important in certain situations, and Red Bull Street Freestyle rider Aaron Colton knows this better than just about anybody. Today at MC Garage, Aaron shows us around the clutch. Precision clutch work is something I pride myself on. It's a staple skill set in the sport of freestyle, and it's one of the most important components on my motorcycle. Today on MC Garage, I'll walk you through a few pro tips in achieving that buttery smooth clutch feel your heart desires. In my case, the clutch acts as a translator between the engine and the transmission. If the clutch system is not running smoothly from end to end, it can often interrupt the translation. The trigger pull reaction when there are issues with the clutch is to simply replace the clutch fibers. Although that's important and necessary for the maintenance program of your motorcycle, these simple steps are often overlooked. So before we start talking about components and free play setup, let's talk about lubing the clutch cable. You lube your chain, you change the oil, this is definitely part of the maintenance process as well. If your clutch slack is set up properly, you should be able to turn this all the way in to what your adjuster has available. Pull the clutch, release, pull forward, simple as that. So after you pull your clutch cable, give it a quick wipe for the dust and dirt. And lubing the clutch cable is super simple. You can either get one of these little Motion Pro clutch cable lubers, clamp it on, go from there. But if that resource isn't available to you, you get a small plastic bag, clip the corner of the bag, run that bag over the clutch cable. And what you do is you take a rubber band tightly around the Ziploc bag. And once you get a good seal, you turn the bag inside out. And what this does is it creates a little fluid reservoir. So instead of pressurizing the lube through the cable, you simply set this bag up like that. Take your favorite multi-purpose lubricant, spray it down, build a little reservoir. And basically, once it's sitting in there, you let time work for you. Sometimes you can work the cable up and down if you want to, but time's your friend, let it soak through until it peeks through the bottom, and that's all you really need to do to do a proper lubrication job on your clutch cable. And if you don't have time to let it sit and flush through, you can just grab a needle nose and work it through just by actuating the clutch cable like it normally would. You'll know the cable's completely lubed when the lubricant that you used is dripping out the bottom end of the cable. One extra step that I do that's not required, this especially is great on off-road bikes where you get a lot of grit down in that area, I take my air compressor, give it a quick blast, and all that does is just blast some of the extra excess oil through, as long as well as some of the sand that may have accumulated down at the bottom. And uh, you don't need a reservoir of oil, just a coating. So that right there is a nice little last step. So after you've cleaned and lubed your cable, it's time to do the perch. This OEM style setup, super simple. Take a Q-tip or some compressed air, go around inside where the barrel goes, clean up any grit, grime, grease that may be left over in here, put a little 90 weight gear oil or some assembly lube in it, call it a day. For my setup, I run the Elite Motec clutch lever. This is a CNC setup with dual sealed bearings on it, as well as relief cuts for oil reservoir inside. And what this allows for the freestyle application and one finger clutch application is an advanced leverage ratio. You choose the lever length that best fits your dual lever setup, and basically you have the answer to the ultimate buttery clutch. So now that your cable and perch are cleaned and lubed, it's time to put them back together and set your slack. This is pretty easy. You extend the clutch, you put the barrel in the bottom of the lever, you align the adjusters so that they're in a straight line, you pull the clutch lever, pull on the clutch cable, boom, just like that. Now, slack. What should you set your slack at? So each OE is gonna have a recommended free play amount in their service manual. Me, personally, it's never been something I measure, it just goes off feel. And what I mean by that is I literally adjust the clutch perch with my eyes closed. There's a certain amount of free play that after riding a while you know is about right for your use case. So for the purpose of this video, I walked around the shop, I measured all the motorcycles, and I was within two and a half to three mil range of free play on my clutch setup. So here, let's see how far off or how spot on it was in the measurement. 3.14, I'd say that's close enough for this program. 
Basically, you're gonna have to readjust that after the first ride anytime you're servicing the clutch components, but that's a pretty good starting point. So when your free play's all set, one thing you're gonna wanna do is lock down your adjuster. On an OEM setup like this, it's just one piece, but one thing you wanna make sure is that the slit that you pull the cable through is not aligned with the opening in the clutch perch. Now, with a two-piece setup, you wanna do the same thing, but you're gonna turn the adjuster and make sure it's at a point where the slit is not on the front side of the adjuster, and then lock it down with the inside lock nut. So I'm sure some are thinking, what's up with the double lever? Top setup's the clutch, bottom lever's the handbrake, and the reason I have the lever length set up like this is so that when I use these at the same time, when I'm feeding in the clutch and both the brake, that I'm not clearancing on the back of my fingers. So that's why you have the long handbrake set up here and the short clutch lever set up here. So the only downside to the siphon method of cable lubing is that you're gonna have a little mess to clean up down below. But it's a good excuse to get eyes on it and you can also lock up your clutch adjustment nuts if you made that adjustment through this process. Now one thing I wanted to talk about is cable routing. Think of it as a street map versus has the crow flies. There's a lot of room for improvement on the clutch feel just on based how it's routed. Some OEs will have different restrictive fairings or I'm not sure exactly in each specific case that will restrict that. So I can talk about this motorcycle. I was able to make a drastic improvement to make this smoothly go through the frame up through the front and it really improved the clutch feel. So not on every bike, but some will pose that opportunity for you. So I hope that helps you show your clutch line a little love. But now it's time for me to test my adjustments with a little driveway session and I'll catch you guys next time on MC Garage.